Hello lovely people, I hope you're well. Okay, we're gonna make fish pie, an absolute great British classic. There's many, many variations. I've written a whole load of recipes over the years, but this one is super creamy, nice big chunks of fish. The feta cheese, the spinach and the pea works totally well. I do it for my family all the time. I've got one pot on here with some boiling water. I've got one tray on here. Now the beginning of the story starts with a little tablespoon of olive oil in a cold pan. Let it heat up and I'm going in with one rasher of smoked bacon. Now I know you might be thinking, why one rasher, okay? I don't want bacon in the fish pie per se, but I do want that incredible smoky flavor. Then I'm gonna use some spring onions. Right, a slightly sweeter flavor we're gonna get in there. We go in with the spring onions. Now, this is a clean carrot. Actually, there's no benefit in peeling it whatsoever. So I'm just gonna slice it lengthwise. This beginning where we're just sort of sweating off the veg, that actually caramelizes the natural sugars. So in we go with the carrots. This is parsley, really, really fresh. One of the best bits of a fish pie, other than the fish, is the beautiful potatoey top, right? And I wanna pimp it, uh, not just in flavor and visual appeal, but also nutritionally. I wanna give you more stuff that's good for your body. So, what do we do? First up, uh, the tip is don't peel it. The most nutritional part of the potato is the skin. So the potatoes go into some boiling water. Now potatoes are classed as a starchy carb. They're not bad for you, but if you have too much of them, that can be a bit of a problem. So by going 50-50 sweet potato and potato, we're really, you know, doing cool stuff. We'll boil that until they're just sort of softened and cooked. So the potatoes are cooked. Let's drain those. That steam sort of going is really important. So don't start mashing it straight away. Just leave that for a couple of minutes. So let's talk about fish. You want about 600 grams of fish, right? So I've got 500 grams of salmon, 100 grams of prawns. You can take that completely away and just reflect what is good in your local fishmongers, right? What I want to do is just chunk it up into bite-sized pieces. We need to turn these veggies into the base of a truly delicious sauce. So the way I'm going to do that is we're going to add some flour. Two tablespoons of flour go in and that's your thickening agent. So we'll mix that up and now we can start to add 600 mils of milk. Don't add it all at once, otherwise it will just not work. And it will start to thicken. And this is going to give you that lovely silky thickness. Two teaspoons of English mustard are going to kick this party up. I've got frozen peas and frozen spinach. I've got 400 grams of each. As I heat these up in here, they just start to kind of melt and this sauce will just go really green. I'm gonna go in with the peas now and with the fish, right? The salmon and the prawns. Turn the heat off now. We don't really need to cook that at all. We're just literally mixing it up. That's kind of perfect now, but I'm thinking that it's gonna be a bit dry when it's actually cooked. And just pop a little bit of water or milk I'm just gonna stir that through. That's 125 grams of feta cheese. It seasons the whole dish beautifully. So mash up the potatoes and sweet potatoes. You know, don't overly mash it. I quite like seeing the two different colors. Uh, definitely give it a nice little season of salt and some pepper. And now let's top it. Sprinkle it on the top. And I, you don't have to take it right to the edge. The reason I've done this is because I kind of wanted like a little mountain range, right? And the more peaks and troughs, the more surface area, the more crispy bits. Uh, I'm gonna whack this in the oven. Oh, come on, look, blipping all around the sides, nice and juicy, crispy, crispy, crispy. I always go for the corner because I get double crispy bits. That's just our secret, right? So don't go around telling everyone that. It's a really, really good one. Serve it with a nice little salad, wedge of lemon. Let's have a little try. Super creamy. The uh, topping with the sweet potato and the potato is really, really good. Nice little tip there. The feta cheese, which is quite unusual in a fish pie, works totally well. If you want to know more about my new book, Superfood Family Classic, click the i box up there and enjoy. Take care.